How you doing there? Welcome back, Burgundy fans. This is also going to be for other people that want to know how to switch to ISOs, switch your ISO disk when it tells you to, and the purpose of it, and everything like that. So basically, if we're going to go back into this whole thing, the old games would have disks that you'd have to switch on a console, you know, because that's how they would give out, you know, the game itself. They'd have to switch the disks to a new disk that had more information more current information for what you're going for. Anyways, you probably already know that. Um, so here's my emulator right here. Right off the start, you cannot hit switch ISO. It will not let you. This is grayed out for me on my emulator that I have right here. You have to go run ISO. Now, let's say you're going to click the incorrect ISO to load. Okay? So you're going to click load CD1. Maybe you're just used to loading CD1. You open up this. Uh, it opens up the game for me. In this case, this is Burgundian. I'm sure a lot of Burgundy fans already know, but this also for people that, you know, want to know how to switch an ISO disk. This will help you too. Uh, so, you know, we just got to get through the start screen. We go to continue, and let's say we still be loaded the disk one and we forgot we need to be to disk two. Okay? Uh, you know, or let's say that the game itself tells you to load disk 2. Either one of these scenarios will work for this. So let's load this file here. This is an end game file, so it's going to force me to load to disk 2. Uh, so this is what's going to happen here. Um, insert disk 2, all right? So you don't have physical disk, right? Okay. So here's the thing. You can't just... You know, see here's my pointer here. Hopefully you can see this, all right? Uh, this pointer, if I go on the screen, it disappears. But I'm going to move it over to the top right where the X button is to close the program down. And that's something you should not do for switching disks. That's something you do to close the program completely. What you want to do is go to your keyboard, make sure your keyboard is hooked up, press the Escape button. What it's going to do is it's going to give it a bit of a soft reset where it brings you back to your emulator screen, but at this point it unlocks the switch ISO area. Whereas before when you started the game, you couldn't switch an ISO, it will not let you. Once you do this escape button, when it tells you to switch the discs, then you can press this button to switch ISO. At that point, what you have to do um, is you're switching your ISO file, you, you're also I mean, you're basically switching your CD file. So I'm going to CD2, I'm going to click on that, click open, it said loading file, and um, yeah, so now it loads the file. So that's how you switch your ISO, like if you forget to, you know, load with the correct disk, or if you're in a game where it says switch ISO, as soon as it says switch ISO, what you basically do is you hit the escape button on your keyboard, Go back to your emulator, and then you go in your emulator uh, area where it tells you to, you know, it, tell, it tells you that you can switch your ISO disk. So that's the point because now that I hard closed it, I hit the uh, X button on the top right to close it. Now I want to hit switch ISO. I can't because I forced the program to close completely. Uh, what you need to do if you're going to switch it is hit the escape button. So I've already said that four times. <laughs> I'm sure that's probably going to stick with you. Um, I know there will be some other emulators that will be a little bit different, but that's kind of the point. You can't just start the game by switching ISO. You have to start by running an ISO, and when it tells you to switch it, then you hit the escape button, and then you come back here. So hopefully that helped you out. Um, you know, that's pretty much the point. If you have any questions or anything at all, uh, please let me know and I'll try to run through that with you, um, especially if it's for this emulator program right here. I know this emulator program fairly well. So anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll talk to you later.